Hey there, my friend, welcome. This is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, founder here at The Fit Father Project, and I'm pumped up for today's video because we're gonna be going over a full body, superset-based strength training workout. And it's been a little bit on the channel since we've published a full workout video. We've been doing a lot of informational talking stuff, so today, it's all about the gym. We're gonna give you a routine, and my challenge is that you try this out this week. And before we get into um, the exercises, and I cover this here, and then we hop behind me, and actually, you see me demo these exercises, I wanna give you a little bit of philosophy on why we designed these types of workouts. So here at the Fit Follow Project, we believe there's roughly four different types of workouts you should incorporate into your routine. The first one is classic strength training, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're doing a lot of great uh, exercise motions like deadlifts, rows, bench presses, shoulder presses, curls, except what we're doing is making it really useful for busy guys like you and me by using supersets. So we're gonna get a lot more volume in in less time, and you can train your entire body in like 35 to 45 minutes, and you can do this workout a couple times per week, and it's gonna give you great results. So classic strength training. The second type is metabolic resistance training, and this is strength training that's in a circuit fashion that we're basically not resting at all in between exercises, and we're really boosting our metabolism, and those kind of workouts are great for fat burning, so we combine those with strength, classic strength training and these MRT workouts. We're gonna shoot an MRT workout for you later this week. The third type is high intensity interval training. So these are kind of doing burst intervals on any type of cardio you want. We have a workout for you coming this week as well. And then the final one is some mobility and stretching. So you probably have some aches and pains in your body from sitting down all the time, from old injuries, and we gotta fix those and we can do it with some corrective exercises. So those are the four types. We have videos coming for you. If you're here on our channel and you subscribe, which I highly recommend, you're gonna get notifications if you check that little bell when we publish these new videos. So without further ado, let's get into today's workout. I know you're gonna learn a ton. Let's dive on in. All right, so today is all about some classic strength training using supersets. In particular, this workout I designed for you today has five main superset motions. And you're probably familiar, but if you're not, what a superset is, is we're pairing two exercises back to back. So we do exercise 1A, and we immediately go to uh, 1B without resting in between. And then after we finish one set of 1A, one set of 1B, then we rest, and then we redo the superset. Another set of 1A, another set of 1B. So here's how the workout looks like. We're gonna start off with some deadlifts, an amazing, whole body exercise for your legs, your back, etc. We're gonna do four sets of eight to 10 reps. You can use a classic barbell deadlift, but I also give you options if you just have a home gym set up and you just got a pair of dumbbells, we're gonna show you how to do some dumbbell deadlifts as well. And we're gonna superset those with a squat press. So we're gonna rack the dumbbells up front, we're gonna squat and press overhead. This is great because it's a great pairing. We're gonna be resting the back and the hammies while we're doing the squat press and really challenging some of our shoulder pressing as well. Next superset pairing, we're gonna do a front loaded squat, either with a barbell up front or loaded up with some kettlebells or dumbbells. We're gonna do a set of three sets of eight to 12 reps. So one set of eight to 12 reps, immediately into some YTWs. These are gonna be some shoulder motions like this. It's gonna really help open up your chest because so many of us are all hunched over all the time um, and we're pressing and we're doing rows and we're working on computers. We gotta open things up with the YTWs. Third superset, we're gonna do a dumbbell bench press or a push-up. If you don't have any equipment at home, you can do push-ups as well. We're gonna superset those with dumbbell rows or a band resistance row if you don't have access to dumbbells. Our fourth superset is gonna be a slow-mo farmer's walk. This is an exercise you probably haven't seen before, but it's absolutely fantastic for your traps, for your erector spinae, and for your posture. We're gonna superset those with some bird dogs to stabilize your core. And finally, we're gonna have an arm superset to finish this off. We're gonna do some curls, superset with some close grip tricep push-ups. So that's the lay of the land. Without further ado, you're gonna see me demonstrate one set of each of these. We're gonna go through the workout quickly, and then my challenge for you is to do this this week at least one time, and then come back here in the comments, post below, let me know how you did. I can't wait to hear about this workout. Let's head on over to the gym, and let's dive into our first set of deadlifts. All right, so let's dive into our first superset pairing, which is the deadlift with the squat press. So to start with the deadlift, we have a couple different options. If you have access to a barbell, feel free to use the barbell, but you can also use some dumbbells or a kettlebell. I'm gonna demonstrate all of them. So first set, we're gonna do anywhere from eight to 10 reps, and I'll show you first with the barbell. So when addressing a barbell deadlift, you wanna get it nice and tight to your shins. I'm gonna suggest you do a double overhand grip. Once you grab the bar, roll it back, chest comes up, deep breath. Pull the bar right on up. Slowly unload it, bar stays close. Two, three, four, five, and eight. Now, if you don't have access to a barbell, you can use some dumbbells. 
In this case, what I suggest is you put the dumbbells right in front of your feet like this. Again, nice and tight to your shins. Bend down, bring them up, unwind, hinge the hips, come right on up to here, down, right over here, fire right back up, right on down, fire right on up. Now finally, you can also do a single kettlebell. You got a heavy guy like this, this goblin kettlebell. You can do a sumo style deadlift where you load it right in here, grab down, chest is high, fire right on up, come on down, fire, be explosive, right on down. So that is the deadlift. I would do eight to 10 reps immediately to a squat press. So squat press, we're gonna grab these weights. We're gonna rack them, shoulder position, shoulder width apart with the feet. I'm gonna squat, then I'm gonna shoulder press. Nice squat, here, up, press. Down, squat, up, press, down. Nice deep squat, good press overhead. I lost count. One or two more. Up and down, rack safely. So just did a set of deadlifts, set of squat press, rest, catch my breath, do my next superset pairing, then we're gonna set up. So we have four supersets here, then we're gonna move on to our next exercise. Let's get that set up. All right, so now that we did our four superset pairings of the deadlift with the squat press, we're gonna do our second superset pairing, which is gonna be a front-loaded squat. Um, I, I recommend probably dumbbells at this point just for being fast, but you could also do a bar-loaded front squat as well. We're gonna superset that with some shoulder mobility with the Ys, the Ts, the Ws. Let's get into that right now. Both of these are gonna be eight to 12 reps. So we'll start off with the front-loaded squat. So it's gonna be very similar to squat press. You're gonna load these dumbbells right up top here. And the key here with this exercise is as you're squatting down, if you look at me here from the side, you're gonna see that I'm staying upright like this, eight to 12 reps. What I'm not allowing myself to do is I'm not allowing myself to hunch forward too much and round that back. I'm staying nice and upright just like this. So eight to 12 reps here. And eight. We're gonna put the dumbbells down. Now we're gonna come down here to the side for these Ys, these Ts, these Ws. So what we're gonna do here, is we're gonna get on the belly just like this, kind of in your classic Superman style position. And what the Ys are is we are gonna move these dumbbells all the way. We're gonna get the thumbs up just like this. Head is in neutral line. My glutes are up. Y, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the glutes stay active here. One, two. Now you can also put the hands down, and this is more comfortable. Small motion. I want you to feel your shoulder blades pinching together. We're working on that scapula and all those muscles in the back, they get neglected. Right here, those are the T's. And finally, the W's, I want you to do them like this. Like here, I want you to bring it back. One, two, three. You should be able to burn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, this exercise burns a lot, and that's good. We really wanna work on the stabilization of the back of that shoulder blade. So at this point, I would rest, and then I'd begin my next superset pairing, which again is gonna be those front-loaded squats, eight to 12, back down to the Ws, and on the YTWLs, uh, Noel, YTWs. On the YTWs, again, we're doing 10 reps per position, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here. After completing all three supersets, let's move on to our next exercise. All right, so now that we've done some of our good leg and core work with those deadlifts, with a lot of those front-loaded squats, with the shoulder mobility and stability, we're gonna get into some classic upper body exercises. 
a dumbbell bench press or a push-up paired with a dumbbell row or a resistance band row. So let's start off with the dumbbell bench press version. I have my bench set up here, but I wanna bring your attention here to how I have this set up. Um, what I've found from helping a lot of people with this dumbbell bench press is that creating a slight decline, even one plate's much, creates a tiny decline on this bench. And quite frankly, we could raise this even more with two plates. And what that's gonna do is when we're pressing, it's gonna open up the shoulder a little more. If you have any kind of shoulder impingement and pain, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable. So here, we're doing eight to 10 reps. So I'm gonna get my dumbbells, pop them up here, and I'll roll them right on back into the starting position of the dumbbell bench press. Shoulders are down, legs are contacting the floor. Drive up to starting position, get situated. Deep breath here, bring it down slow. Pause, fire for one, two, three, four. Nice and slow down, pause, five, six, seven, and eight. At this point, I'm gonna lower the dumbbells, roll it right on up, and I'm gonna head right into the dumbbell row. So with the dumbbell row, I'm gonna hinge at the hip just like this, back is nice and flat, head, spines in neutral, pulling the shoulder blades back. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if you do not have access to dumbbells, here's what we're gonna do. We would be doing a push-up version. So in this instance, I would just come onto the floor here, and instead of the dumbbell bench, I would do some good old-fashioned push-ups, just like this. In good starting position here, chest is high, coming right on down to here. One, two, three, you get the idea. And then we'd superset that with a banded row. So get my band, I would situate this right back here, doorknob handle something like this, take it here, pull right through, right through here. I would do my rows this way. Now I personally feel that doing a version with the dumbbells is a lot more effective, but if that's all you have at home, that's totally fine. Eight to 12 reps on each of these supersets, four supersets total, then let's move on to the next exercise, slow-mo farmer's walk with the bird dogs. All right, so at this point in the workout, we are on 4A and 4B, our fourth superset pairing of this full body workout. Um, the first exercise is gonna be a slow-mo farmer's walk, and this is something I started doing uh, around a half a year ago. I don't see very many people do it, but it's a phenomenal exercise. And I, I wrote this out when I was writing this workout as three sets of big burn. And you're gonna see what that means when you try this. We're gonna pair one set of these slow-mo farmer's walks with a bird dog, which is one of these things on the ground with the core. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. So to start with the slow-mo farmer's walk, I want you to get some dumbbells or some kettlebells. I prefer the kettlebell. We're gonna take them right here on the side. I'm gonna externally rotate the shoulder. This is like this, opening up that chest. I'm gonna take these weights, I'm gonna shift them back like this, and I'm gonna hunch forward just like this. What I'm doing is I'm loading the scapula in the back, and now I'm gonna farmer's walk, but I'm gonna walk slow. I'm gonna take one leg at a time off the floor. And what this is doing is challenging my shoulder blades and my traps to stay engaged, while it's also challenging my core and my glutes to stabilize my spine. So you're gonna find this is a glute and core workout. And I want you to do this when I say big burn, probably gonna walk for about 90 seconds, just like this. You're gonna walk pretty much to the point where you find that when these dumbbells start coming forward like this and you lose this extended position here, that is when your set is gonna be up. So I'll do a couple more just so you can see. It's, it looks funny, but trust me, this will do more for your upper back and your shoulder blades. And if you have any shoulder pain, this will help clear it up. And it's also training those small muscles of the glute, that glute med, as you're walking in your back. And I'm squeezing these dumbbells hard. I'm gonna walk back to starting position and then we'll be finished with this one. A couple more steps, nice and slow. Slow, flex those triceps, slow and down. So after doing the slow-mo farmer's walks, we're gonna hop on the ground for a bird dog. So the bird dog starts in this quadruped position right here. So my head is neutral. Hands are here. I'm 
rotating those shoulder pits forward just like this. Now, one hand, right hand, left foot, I'm gonna do um, 10 reps per. So one, squeeze that glute, come on in. Two, we're gonna do them continuous style here. Three, four, and watch from the side here. What we don't wanna do, I'll give you a good rep and a bad rep. Five, good. Six, this is a bad rep. See how this hip is dropping or it's flying around? I want you to keep your pelvis level, tabletop position this whole time. So I'm pushing hard with this left hand, left tricep to maintain this position right here. A couple more. Good rep. Bad rep. Any kind of squirrely motion, no good. So at this point I would do the other side. Back, shoulder pits forward here. Extend out, flexing my glute, flexing my shoulder, coming on in, extend, two, keeping tabletop, three, four, five. I don't care if the knee and elbow don't touch. I just want everything to come into midline to a little bit of a crunch, then you extend back out and get long. Eight, nine, and 10. So at this point, I'll rest probably around 60 seconds. Back to the slow most farmer's walk. Then back to the bird dogs. Three supersets total here. Then we're gonna finish off with a little bit of arms to wrap out this full body superset workout. Let's get to that. All right, so let's round out this full body superset workout here um, with some arm work. Three sets, 10 to 15 reps. We're gonna start with some classic standing um, biceps curls with the dumbbells. And then immediately we're gonna get into some close grip or narrow grip pushups for the triceps. So um, I'll start off with the curls here. And what I'm doing is I'm actually using um, some fat grips. These are these little grips that you can put around a dumbbell and they make the handle thicker, which means I need to squeeze that handle harder, which means it's gonna activate my arms a little bit more. Totally optional, highly recommended. So pick the dumbbells up. Now, what I'm gonna suggest you do is get very strict with these. I like to hinge forward at the hip a little bit and squeeze these dumbbells. Hinging forward at the hip pre-stretches the biceps just a little bit. And now we're gonna come up, squeeze, focus, down slow here. Up, squeeze, down nice and slow here. Focus, concentrate on these curls. Don't do sloppy curls. I'm going with a pretty light weight here, 25 pounds, but I'm really focusing on working the biceps. What you see a lot of guys do is shitty curls like this. No shitty curls here at the Fit Father Project. So slow, controlled, focus on the biceps, right on down. Up, supinate, slow, right on down. 10 to 15 reps. I love high rep arm work. It's phenomenal. Gets you a good pump. So we're gonna keep on going. Now if you feel like in the middle of your set you do wanna try two arms at once, that is fine. It's gonna work your core a little bit more, but still slow and controlled. A Couple more reps, up, squeeze, right on down. One or two more, up, squeeze, right on down. Final one, up, squeeze, right on down. Now immediately we're gonna to go to some close grip Push-ups, great for the triceps. So a lot of people do these diamond style push-ups. I think it's a little excessive on the triceps. If you're strong enough to do them, more power to you, do them. What I do suggest is a close but moderate grip. So consider it like a wide diamond. You can see what my hands look like roughly this width, right down here. Good push-up position, take the elbows, point those elbow pits forward, get those arms kind of pinned to your sides. And we're in a nice push-up position down to here. Focus on those triceps. Feel like you're lowering the triceps under tension and exploding right on up, 10 to 15. Feel the full pressure through your hand. Play around with bringing yourself down, face a little more towards your hands, or if it's more comfortable, you can be farther away. I really don't care. What I do care is that you're feeling those triceps. Now, a more advanced version. If you find that you can bang out 15 of those nice and slow, is to hop on some kind of ball here, a little bit of an unstable surface. So in this instance, I have one of these big slam balls. I'm gonna grab this around the sides here. And what this is gonna do is activate my triceps even more because it's an unstable surface. So I'm here, I'm gonna be coming down nice and slow. Pause, 
fire. Down nice and slow, pause, fire. Now watch my feet here. If I bring my feet even closer together, it's a more unstable surface. So the triceps have to do even more work to keep me stable through this motion. Down, pause, fire. So I have no idea how many I did. Let's pretend I did 10 to 15. I will rest. We'll get back to the dumbbell curls. Then back to the triceps, three supersets total. You were done with this workout. So amazingly effective workout. You do this, it'll take you 35 to 45 minutes. It's gonna give you a great burn, great pump. So you can do this, try doing it twice this week. And uh, you'll just see if you can get stronger from workout one to workout two. I know you're gonna love this workout. All right, my friend, I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Again, this workout is a total butt kicker. And the beautiful thing is all you really need if you're working out at home is a pair of dumbbells, a pair of kettlebells, a bench. You know, you can even do some of the floor presses for those chest presses if you don't even have a bench. So minimal equipment, maximal benefit. We're doing so many sets in such a short period of time. We're working every part of your body and this is what makes these super set full body workouts absolutely incredible. So give it a shot this week. And if you love stuff like this and you're not subscribed to our Fit Father Project YouTube channel, subscribe right now. We literally have 400 to 500 plus videos on this channel with awesome free workouts like this. Again, we have a couple more coming this week with a metabolic resistance training fat burning circuit, a really quick Tabata fat burning and a mobility workout routine. So all that's coming to you. And if you're subscribed, you get notifications when we publish those videos. And we have hundreds of videos on nutrition, motivation, all the exercise form tutorials. So join us here on the Fit Father Project YouTube channel. We're the men's health and expert, fitness experts for busy guys who are 40 and fathers. So we'd love to have you join us here on our community. And if you want more of this stuff and you want to come deeper with me and my team, we have some incredible resources. We're going to link below this video in the description. We have a free one day weight loss and fat loss meal plan where I show you exactly what to eat for breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. You click the links below this video, I'll send that straight to your email. We also have a 24 minute fat burning workout. I'll send to your email and we have a five best muscle builders exercise. And we show you how to make these exercises, these classic muscle builders, like the bench press, the deadlift, the overhead press, the pull-ups, safe and easy on your joints so you're not hurting all the time and you're actually making progress and not getting injured. So this is absolutely essential. If you love all this stuff, give us a thumbs up, drop me a comment below, let me know how this workout goes for you and I'll see you around the channel, my friend. I look forward to sending you those free resources straight to your email and I'll talk to you very soon.